Hello there everyone, my name is Michael Gray, and today I am playing chapter number one of Death Under Tuscan Skies, a Dana Nightstone novel. This is the sequel to this game right over here, Death at Faring Point, and I will start on Advanced Mode. Here I am, Dana Nightstone, flying off to Italy on a new adventure. My last novel sold quite well, so I was able to take a break from my writing. A university in Tuscany invited me to be a guest speaker on literature, and I accepted. I was hoping for a quiet and peaceful vacation. Little did I know what mysteries the university had in store for me. From the moment I stepped into the library that first night, I had a strange feeling that things would not go as planned. Chapter 1. The University in Lucia, Università di Toscana. Would I like to play the tutorial? Might as well. When you see the speech bubble, it means you can talk to someone. Ah, Signorina Nightstone, it's great to finally meet you. I'm Professor Romano. Thank you for accepting our invitation. Okay, see you later, Professor. And if you ever see the uh, magnifying glass, it means you can zoom in on an area. And if you see the hand, it means you can pick something up. What's this? Whoa! Oh, 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 I did not mention, um, the Dana Nightstone series is about ghosts and things like that. Yeah, Dana has spiritual powers or something like that, and so she can see the ghosts of dead people. So what is this? This is the Salad I Lettura. So it's the salad made of lettuce, right? That's how Italian works. So we are clearly going to the buffet and getting a salad made out of lettuce. Fantastic! Hey, wait a minute. This isn't the... This is not the buffet! Hmm. Maybe I translated that wrong. Where is this? This is... The library balcony. Yeah, I'm just going to go by the subtitles rather than trying to translate from Italian because I don't know Italian. I know Latin, which is like Italian, but not really. Yeah. Anyway, salt shaker. And here we have a paperclip and some ink. And the uh, literature section is over here, along with the ghost. Ghost? Ghost? Yeah, maybe it's just my imagination. I hope it's just my imagination. I don't want to be hanging around in a haunted library. So what's this? This is um, a puzzle. We want to find those books. So HA29. HA2965. HE89 T11. And HA. Wait. Wait a second. Hold on just a minute here, Dana Nightstone. Take a look at this, everyone. I hope I still remember how to use the Dewey Decimal System. That is not the Dewey Decimal System. That's more like the Library of Congress. The Dewey Decimal System does not have letters. Who wrote this? I mean, come on. Get your library classification systems correct. Oh. Hello, Miss Ghost. Are you here to complain about the library system? Because I am really mad about the Dewey Decimal. <laughs> no! 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 Bloody handkerchief! No. No, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Can I go back to making silly jokes about the Dewey Decimal system? Yeah, and this is the hint system. I mean, just click on the question mark to get a hint. Find a figurine in the globe. Okay. It's locked. Pick the lock with the paper clip. And you get a figurine. 
And we have another figurine over here on this, uh, you know, box of books and a coffee cup. Huh. Maybe they are very boring books and you need coffee, you need to drink coffee in order to stay awake while reading them? You know, I've read a couple of books like that. Anyway, use the figurines here for a puzzle, a two-part puzzle, actually. First part, match the colors, so this one is purple. This is orange here. This is green. This is yellow. This is red. Uh-oh, missed red. And this is blue. Part number two, you want to match the pictures. So, uh, bubbles go with a fish. A feather goes with a bird. Stars go with the moon. A leaf goes with a plant. Humans have hands. And dogs have paws. Alright, so that says, in memory of Ava Leone. And we have a stamp. Which might be useful! And this is him. The, the guy we have to find. Looks like a nice fellow. Okay, so here's a puzzle. Not too difficult. We want to find out what the stamp is. Morte in Toscana. Which means death in Tuscany. I think. Hey! Hey! It's Professor Romano. Miss Nightstone, are you alright? I heard you screaming about the Dewey Decimal System, so I thought I would come to help. Alright, so he says I need to use the card catalog, which is right over here. In order to use it, I am going to have to move things around so the uh, stickers match. So let's see if I can show you what this looks like. For example, this sticker goes here. You see the uh, color lines match up. So you basically want to swap stickers over and over and over again until everything matches. That's all. That's all. Not too difficult. It's probably easiest if you say start with one row at a time rather rather than just you know doing things randomly so for example this is somewhere I do not see that sticker anywhere wow am I just missing it I am okay it's right here Great, okay, so this is red and blue, red and blue, red and blue, that's, that's pretty simple. So yeah, this column is done. Let's work on... I don't know. Well, that's not right. Yellow there, that one's only green. This one is uh, three colors, so it should be pretty simple to find. You'd think, but I, I'm not very good at this. Okay. I'm making progress. Is that it? That's it. Okay, cool. So that's not so bad. And we have, um... A book with the Titolo, I'm guessing that's title, Death in Tuscany, inside the Departamento Medico. Departament... Departamento Medico! Yeah, 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 I'll, I'll say things with an Italian accent, and that will totally make people believe I'm pronouncing it correctly. Yeah, yeah, see, that's clever. That way nobody will know I have absolutely no idea how to read Italian. So this is the Disco... Disque, disque, oh, now I'm pronouncing it with a French accent. The Discontore. I'm ridiculous. I'll stop doing silly accents. I apologize to everyone. What you want to do is find the proper, proper code, which is this one right over here. I'm not sure how you're supposed to solve that puzzle. Just try out random codes until you find the right one. I guess that's it. 
Coolio! So now we can go to the main library. And the medical section is right over here. First, let's get this ladder. And, uh, death in Tuscany is... No, 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 it's Morte, right? So that's in the M's. So you need to put the ladder there before you can get Morte in Toscana. So let's see. Eyeball, tooth, lungs, um, the brain, the star, which is not really a body part, the pirate hat, which I don't think is a body part either, the... What is that? Is that a cabinet? I don't think all these things are body parts. Gotta be honest here. There's the nose, and there's the heart. Alright, so we have the key. Fantastic. And we can use the key over here on the medicine cabinet. This is a puzzle. A two-part puzzle. First part is arranging everything by color, so A is purple. Let's see, D is blue. B is green. And let's see, E is red. Okay, they're arranged by color. Now you want to arrange them according to number. So this is one, this is two, three, four, five, six. One finger, two lines, three sides on a triangle, um, four dots on a die, five and then six. One, two, three, four sides on a diamond and five lines and then six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we get an eyeball. Yeah, an eyeball. Oh, it's made of glass. Okay, I thought that was a human eye. I was really freaked out. The eyeball goes here. Oh. What? Okay. Okay, yeah, that's strange. Okay, so, Eva, I'm sorry it has to be like this. There's no other choice. You must trust me in this. Love, GC. P.S. Find the book, G. Whoa, I'm not even trying to pronounce that word. Okay, it's in the G section, right? It's in the Q? It's in the Q section, okay. So let's see, uh, move this downward to get a hidden message from GC. Eva, meet me in the gardens. I will explain everything. GC. So is GC the guy that she wants to meet? Is that it? I'm guessing that's it. I'm guessing that's it. And we can zoom in here for another one of those number things. And now that we have the screwdriver, we can undo this. The Spingere pair op- oh, I can't read it anymore. So this is a puzzle! You want to rotate all these things in order to create a circuit board. It's not too difficult because you have some letters, so you don't want the letters to be upside down. Alright, the top row is done. Let's just uh, work along the outside here. Good. Good. Okay, let's let's get all the other pieces in place then. Uh oh, uh oh, no no no, don't don't keep spinning. Just stop when you reach the correct configuration, okay? Oh, 
these letters are sideways. That's kind of tricky. Don't start with the sideways letters. Start with the right side up letters. Oh, hey, non saltando. I guess that means no skipping in Italian, because, you know, saltar is Spanish for jump. So this is a puzzle. You want to connect these switches with the things they light up. So, for example, that switch goes to that one. That to that one. All right, I'm good at guessing. Oh, I'm no longer good at guessing. All right. Oh. Yeah, I mean, you could just follow the lines, but it's probably easier just to guess. That's just as efficient. Great, so now we can go out to the piazza, which means plaza in English, right? It says plaza, so I I'm going to say that the subtitles are correct. What's here? We have cleaning rag and glass cleaning solution, and we have dog food. Mmm, delicious. So let's see, this sculpture has um, those things. I'm gonna need another numbered knob. What's this here? Something in the spyglass, huh? Okay, you want to use the ladder so you can reach the spyglass for a puzzle. You need to rotate all the layers in order to form one picture. Three, two, four, seven. That is the code, but I'm going to need another numbered knob. Where do I go? Use the rag. Ah, there's cobwebs somewhere. So where were the cobwebs? Not here. Here, okay. Here. And this is a puzzle you want to move. Dal piu basso al piu alto. No idea what that means, but I think it's from smallest to largest, so... Let me see, we have an embryo, and then it becomes a baby, and then it becomes a toddler, and then it gets potty trained, and then it becomes a child. Okay, what's this? Smallest to largest. So here, it's number of legs. So a snake has zero legs, then two legs on a chicken, four legs on a fox, a bug and a spider. And I don't know the final one. I think it's just the purple things as they move around. Yeah, let's go with that. Alright, so we have another knob. Fantastic. So we have all three of them and we can use them over here over here. So what was that code again? That code was 3247. This is not the easiest puzzle ever. Let's get 7 here. 4. Now I want to get 3. Um, 3 needs to be at the top, actually. So let's see. I move 1. Move 1 down. I want to move to somewhere else. Yeah, this is not working so well. Um, I can move the one here. Great, so I have three and seven in place. So it was three, two, four, seven, right? Three, two, four, seven. Now I need to get two in this spot here. Let's move the two uh, upwards a bit. Now let's move two here so I can move that down there and two there. Okay. Well, now I need to get rid of the one. Oh, here. That'll work. Okay. Three, two, four, seven. And you might have noticed we have the skip button at the bottom of the screen. If you ever want to skip a 
puzzle, just click on the skip button. Alright, here we have ornaments and uh, another letter. I think that's it. What's this thing? Don't know. What about this statue? Another letter. Ooh, two letters. And here, I think we can find our final letter. Yep, right here. Uh, we can't open the crate, and we can't go inside the building because we have this dog. It is named Il Terrible. Il Terrible, which I think is Italian for the Terrible. Yeah. Yeah, so we do not want to upset Il Terrible. Now that I have the stone letters, I can check out the statue of Ava. Ava Leone. So that was her name. E-V-A-L-E-O-N-I. Is it Eva or Ava? I'm not sure how to pronounce it. She was Italian, so she probably pronounced it the Italian way. Eva, why didn't you meet me? Everyone else has given up, but I will save you. When you are healthy again, we can be together. GC. I wonder why these Italian people wrote to each other in English. Oh, hey, Eva, how's it going? Can we do anything for you, Eva? We can examine this. Well, I thought it was suspicious looking. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Find all the snakes. And uh, that's how you solve this puzzle. It's the snake puzzle. Three more snakes? Wow, that's kind of a lot. Weren't there 20 snakes to begin with? I mean, this, this is really, really a snake puzzle. There's another one. Hint. Hint, find me another snake. That's not a snake. That's just a snake head. Well, that's so cheating. And here. That is not a snake. That, that looks like a snake. Okay. Well, I don't want to wait for the hint meter to refill. It's kind of slow. But I might have to unless I can find... Here it is. There we go. Cool. Great, I found the snake. So the snakes go here. And you have a puzzle to find uh, five snakes that are not right next to each other. It's easiest to uh, go with the small snakes. Yeah, just go with the small ones. I mean, that works. And there are multiple solutions. So we have a copper disc. No cure for Ava! I think that actually might be no cure. No cure? Ava was sick? Oh no! That's not good! And I'm going to the medical section to give this to the angel! Great! So you want to rotate the rings in order to uh, do things. So for example, this is a circle, a star, and then a triangle. So that's circle star and then triangle that is green green for circle star is yellow and then triangle is blue that was simple all right we have a secret room in the library cool family portrait. It's the Leone family. This is Antonio with Carlo and Ava. I guess they look like a happy family. I mean, Ava's not really smiling. Huh. Whatever. Uh, newspaper. Great. I have all the pieces of the newspaper. I can use them on the display for a jigsaw puzzle. I want to put the pieces of the paper together. Yes, that definitely reads, no cure for Ava. So Ava must have been sick. And they were unable to find a cure? Well, we did find books in the medicine department. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not...
not sure what's happening. I guess we'll just have to uh, keep playing the game in order to find out what happened to Ava. I mean, clearly she died if she's a ghost. That there? Good. Missing? Oh no, the guy we're supposed to find is missing. Well, I guess that makes sense. I mean, no real point in finding somebody who's not missing. I mean, you know, he's not missing, then he would be already found. Non satando bronze! So this is Giovanni Calabresi. Ah! Gianni! So he is GC. And he is Ava's lover. Okay, so Ava was in love with Johnny. I don't like this. What is this? What the blazes? Hey, Antonio! Oh, Antonio, no! No, no! He is angry. And he moved the portrait for us. Okay, that helps us out because that gives us this stuff. Father wouldn't let me see you. He disapproves of us. So that's why she didn't see him. And we have some film. Cool. Film. What else? A microfiche scanner. Oh, microfiche machine. Haven't seen one of those in a while. Italian buildings. And uh, what's this? Clean the glass. Wipe it off. And we have a key. Great, great, so what am I doing now? I am using the key somewhere, right? I'm using it here, here. A hidden objects challenge, my favorite. Um, map? Abacus, radio, sunflower, glove, service bell. Oh, I'm doing pretty well. Uh, telephone. Telephone? No. Telephone? No. Um, telephone. Old fashioned telephone. Alright. Umbrella. Clipboard. Volleyball? What's a volleyball doing here? There it is. Volleyballs are circular. Uh, paw print. And surgical tools. Oh yeah. The important thing. The surgical tools. That is for the surgical tools display right over here. So with this puzzle you want to match the tools to the outlines. That looks like a dangerous tool. That looks kind of dangerous as well. I don't know what this one is. Um, that looks like a can opener. This is some sort of knife. Where does it go? Here? That's the thing they use at the dentist's office to pick at your teeth with. I don't like that one. I don't think anybody likes that medical tool. Um... That looks like a scraper of some sort. That looks like a screwdriver, to be honest. This looks like a gavel. Are these all medical tools? Did they make some of these things up? That also looks like a screwdriver. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. That looks like an axe right there. Right, so we get scissors! Ooh, I know what to use those scissors on. The scissors can be used here to get dog biscuits for Il Terrible. Alright, cut in a straight line. That's not a straight line. Okay, that. Alright. Dog biscuits. Dog biscuits. Okay, here you go, Terrible. Alright. 
Terrible is not coming up for air. I'm a little worried now. Ah, he seems to be doing okay, so let's not question it. Let's just go here to the photography area. So let's see, film goes... Well, somewhere here. Let me see, goes on that. No. I might be missing something. Oh, I need to get rid of the moonlight before I mess around. Okay, how do I get rid of moonlight? What's this? That's a cube. And what's this? A crowbar? Crowbars are always useful. Yeah, let's use the crowbar here on the crate. Alright, so that gives us some clay and film developing chemicals. Maybe that's what I need. So here you want to use the clay to uh, cover up the gaps. So now we don't have any sunlight, so... Or moonlight, not sunlight. This is a radio. Another cube. Okay. So now what do I do? I put the film on the white thing and I put it in the canister. I put the chemicals in the canister. Right, dark room whiz! Cool! And I hang up the film to dry. Alright, so this is Ava with Johnny, and her brother is watching from a distance. This is her father and her brother posing. I suppose that's a nice picture. And there's Johnny! going away. Huh. Why did Johnny leave? I thought he loved Ava. Maybe, maybe he left to find the cure for her disease? I don't know. Here's a hole! And a puzzle! Puzzle. Okay, we want to match the symbols. So, let's match all of these diamonds. That looks like it. Next, bubbles. Bubble bubbles. That's it. Um, starburst. Next, uh, whatever that design is. Looks like four arrows. Maybe it's supposed to be a, a compass rose. Next, heart. You don't have to do this in, a, in any particular order. And then, um, triangles. from right to left for some reason. Not sure why. Anyway, uh, wooden cubes. I have the wooden cubes. Are you okay there, Terrible? Yeah, I I'm kind of worried about Terrible now. In any case, um, Tuscany is pretty beautiful. I like these gardens. Yeah, this is a pretty awesome university. I wonder if the real university at Tuscany is like that. Does the real University of Tuscany have a secret hidden room behind the angel statue in the medical section? Hmm, maybe not. The cubes go here, and we want to um, go on this journey. So first, the person visits that building, then they visit this building, then they go along to here. on top. I mean a dome. Then the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Then a building with a tower. I'm guessing that's a bell tower. Then the Colosseum. Then the, another place with a dome. Maybe the Pantheon. I don't know. Here's a moth display. We want to... Oh, this puzzle. Uh, we want to match everything. So just keep matching things. So this is number one. It goes with that moth. What is number two? That is number two, right? That looks like a match. So this is number two. Three is... Do you see three? This looks like three. Three. And then four is this guy. Well, that's not so bad. Five, and then six is going to be... Six is going to be... Okay, maybe it's that bad. Six, right? 
kind of. Let's let's hope that's six. That looks like seven. Where's eight? Eight is this fellow. Is that eight? That's eight. Great. Nine is... No, that's not nine. Which one looks like nine to you? This looks like nine. That's nine. That's nine. Ten? Ten? This has to be eleven. Twelve is... No, this is seventeen. That's seventeen. Wait a minute, wait a minute. 17, this is 16. And that's 18. Great, we're almost done. 12, so... Do I just have those two mixed up? Yeah, 13 and, 13 and 15. Great, so we have microfiche for the microfiche machine. Oh no! Johnny went missing, presumed dead? Johnny! Whoa! Eva! Eva, what are you doing? Oh! Guess what? We got completato number one, which means we are finished with chapter number one! Congratulations to us! Giovanni had never returned to the university. Upon leaving, he had simply disappeared without a trace. I delivered my lecture the next day to a class of bright literature students, but I couldn't get my mind off Giovanni and Ava. As I compared Renaissance classics with today's bestsellers, all I could think about was the mystery I had just discovered. I had to find out what happened to Giovanni, and the best place to search for clues was right under my very nose.